Hi faculty, my name is Laura Hammond. I'm a Benny alum and a career coach in XPD. My goal with this short video is to show you how you can use Handshake as a key advising tool as we approach that season. First, what is Handshake? It's an online platform, a one-stop shop with personalized career content that has everything from events to jobs to access to thousands of employers. This information is tailored for your students. Like the music they listen to on Spotify, Handshake can help them explore hundreds of positions posted by thousands of employers in Minnesota and throughout the US. Students all have access to Handshake, uses their same campus username and password, and they can use the QR code that's on the screen, as well as download an app. They can also go to XPD's website or use the A to Z index where they can find Handshake under H. For faculty advising access, you can simply message me at the email address on the screen. Once you do, I'll be able to quickly and easily create an account for you so you can guide students through advising on the Handshake platform. Now that you've got a Handshake account, once you log into the platform, this is what you'll see. The main login shows you percent of web logins, campus profiles. You'll even be able to see the number of jobs posting that XPD staff are reviewing and approving for student use every day. The most important area amongst all of this information for you as a faculty advisor is to go to the student, section and click manage. Once you get there, you'll be able to type in the name of the advisee you're working with. I've gotten advanced approval from Hub Ambassador Ashley Biscuitchell. You can type first name or last name, but your job is to search and find the profile of your student advisee. Click on their name and you'll see a basic profile view. You can look at how many times the student's logged in, how many applications they've submitted, if they've attended any events on the platform, and even check out what kind of information they're storing and what kind of profile they're creating. The more important part is to be able to view when you're meeting with a student, view as user with them. Give them a tour in the view that it'll look like when they're using Handshake on their own. This is the main profile page. Ashley's profile looks like this. It's visible to employers who can message her. Um, but the, the key advising tool that I wanna point out is under the profile. The students that don't have a, a profile photo loaded will have their initials. My Career Interest Survey is a place where students can help Handshake's al algorithm uh, by telling Handshake what they're looking for. So the first couple of fields are important. So telling Handshake the student's looking for a job or an internship, how Handshake can help them by finding a job or an internship, events, uh, helping Handshake to tell them about events is another important tool. And as we scroll down, a few of these fields I find less important, but where students are interested in living and interning and working, you can see they can indicate multiple opportunities, locations. Uh, the, the last two fields are really another important part. So which industries interest you? Ask students to think outside the box. Ask them to include at least three to five different industries of interest. You can see Ashley's got several. The last section is uh, job or job functions that interest them. Again, three to five is going to be key. The student's committing to seeing information. They're not committing to hiring or applying to a job in a specific job function or industry. We're wanting them to see more information than less. So as they fill out these key sections, they'll hit save. And that way, Handshake can personalize and curate content. So the career interest survey, again, the drop down in there's a survey students can access and change multiple times. Another key area in Handshake is the jobs tab. For students looking for internships, volunteer positions, any of those kinds of positions can be accessed through the jobs tab. When students are using XPD hours, I will tell them, use a keyword. So marketing, for example, have them indicate where they're looking for a marketing position and then clarify the kind of position they're looking for. So you can see a keyword, a location, the position type. Those are all the filters I encourage students to use. There are many more, but I find that too many filters will lead to few results. So you can see with a marketing Los Angeles area, location, internship position. This is what's currently active in the system today. Someone on the XPD team is approving hundreds of positions you saw on the initial screen. So we also ask students to use a simplified search and then to save the parameters of that search by clicking save your search. 
Students can then indicate how they want to see the information over email, in app, or push. They can title and they can indicate frequency for which they would want to get this saved search and the notifications. So students can create multiple saved searches. That is another important tool. So how to search and creating a saved search, an important advising tool. The last important advising tool I wanna cover in Handshake is to have students click on Career Center. We know that XPD can provide expertise to students in terms of professional development, and those sometimes come in the form of an appointment with us, with our student team and with our professional staff. So students can schedule appointments with XPD in Handshake. We are not at this time scheduling in the Hive. So Career Center and then appointments, students can schedule those appointments. I'll point out last but not least, our curated employer. So our external engagement team is trying to simplify the search process, uh, indicating employers who are popular with alums, those who hire international students, those that invest in diversity. So encouraging students to go to the Career Center tab to schedule appointments or to start to review curated employers are going to be really important advising tools for you all as faculty. On behalf of XPD Career Coaches, myself, Beth, Erica, and Lucas. We hope this short video has demonstrated how to request access to Handshake as an advisor, as well as walked you through key advising tools on the platform. We hope you'll refer students to meet with us as you navigate advising season, as well as refer them to our XPD Canvas course, full of helpful content from internship search to resumes to interviewing and more. If you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to email me at this email address you see on the screen. Thanks and take care.